Cadillac Counselor reaching out to you guys once again. Uh, like I told you before, I wanted to highlight um, some seniors uh, in our community and I found uh, another one. Yesterday I did uh, Isaac from, from Frederick High and this and today I am doing Ian. And Ian Klein is a, um, is a baseball player, senior year. Um, uh, I coach with his dad uh, over at Frederick National. One thing that I've noticed about this family is that they have a lot of character. And when I say character, that's a major thing, uh, especially in today's society, because character is a big, a big aspect, especially with children and, and, and playing sports. I believe that, that kids should be in sport because it makes them do teen things. And so it keeps them from being so independent. And, and we know with jobs and school, we always need people around us. So um, I don't want to waste any more time. We have Ian here. Here and I will let him introduce himself and tell you a little bit about who he is. So, hey, Ian, it's good to 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 see you. Uh, tell the people kind of what's going on in your life right now. Uh, so I'm Ian Klein. I'm a, a senior at TJ. I uh, played baseball there for four years. Uh, played baseball my entire life. I was three, so 15 years there. Um, Right now, it was definitely a, a sad time that we had a, to cancel the season and cancel the school year, uh, or not be in school. Uh, definitely looking forward to having our senior year there. Um, I will be going to a Rose Holman Institute of Technology next year for mechanical engineering and playing some baseball there. I know education is a big thing for you. Um, was this school kind of one of the major aspects? It wasn't really the baseball. It was more education, wasn't it? Mm -hmm, definitely. Tell me what, the, like, what's going on in the seniors' world, um, knowing that they're not going to be able to walk and missing out on some of the things that they probably would have been doing. How are they thinking right now? Um, I mean, I definitely think a lot of people are upset about it. Um, some take it better than others, uh, but definitely understanding that we're not going to be able to see our friends in school anymore, or that could have been the last time without us really even knowing it. That's, that was definitely hard on a lot of the people, um, especially with sports, not being able to finish out, finish out that, uh, that last year that you've worked for is definitely uh, tough. You guys won the, won the championship, what, two years ago, a year ago, something like that? Yeah, two years ago. Two years ago, and, and and I was talking to some people in the community. They said you guys probably would have had a really good shot at it this year. Yeah, we were we were definitely uh, had high hopes for this year. Uh, had a lot of people coming back, and we're, it was looking pretty good this year. And you pitch? I do. You do? How you like? What's your favorite? Is that your favorite position? Yeah. Now, what other position do you play? Or are you just a strictly pitcher? Um, I play outfield, but it's it's usually mostly pitching. On the catcher is is a major aspect. But the pitcher is kind of like the leader. How does how does that being a pitcher in your in your athletic world? How does that transition into your your life in general? Um, well, with like pitching, it's definitely a lot of control over how the game goes. Uh, but you also have to understand the the failure. Uh, you mess up a pitch, and someone hits a a nuke off you. Uh, it, it goes the same way with life that. Like, if you mess up, you got to come back right after and uh, learn from that and continue working at it. I love Houston Astros, all right? And and I've always been an Astro fan from back in well, going to Nolan Ryan uh, camps and, and seeing things like that when I was young. You know, I look at what happened with baseball, with the Astros, and, and, and I even saw even in Little League, some of the people decided that they wasn't even going to use Astros um, this year for any of their team. I mean, how do you feel about just the integrity of baseball and, and, but, and kind of what happened with the Astros? How do you think it's going to play out with, with baseball in general? Integrity of the game. Um, so it's just something that people 
weren't really they sure they had to look out for, but now definitely something they'll they'll be watching out for, and I, I think it'll change how pitchers and catchers communicate and how things work through that. So I, I mean, imagine imagine if you were pitching and you found out that 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 a team was already knowing everything that you guys were doing. I mean, how would that make you feel as a pitcher? Um, I mean, it's something you got to work with. Uh, I know, and we don't do the the whole camera and trash can or whatever it was. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you you try to you try to figure out what's going on with them. So it's definitely part of the game and something you have to work with. Uh, but if I, I would talk with the catcher to figure out, try to do something else to change how we're talking through it. Yeah, so keep it keep it transitioning so that nobody knows what you're talking about. Yeah. You're doing some community service type work. What was that going on? What were you doing? Uh, so with my uh, my summer team, the, the Frederick Legion team, um, we don't have a season this year, but every year uh, the players would go out to, um, I forget the name of the cemetery now, but the one right next to Key Stadium. Okay. And we'll, we'll put a, a American flags on the graves of veterans. Wow. So you're even giving back to the community, even not even on the baseball field, but just even in life in general. Yeah, I'm trying to. Wow. So what do you think? What's the importance of community service? Um, I mean, it's just the, the, you have the ability to, to do something that you can see as helping the community. I always think is a, a great thing to do. And uh, just that if you can make someone else or just the, the memory of someone else better, um, that I don't see reason why not to. Wow. I, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. That's like, that's like having that empathetic heart, having that sympathetic mind um, to see a young person in the community uh, doing that kind of stuff is just, I mean, it, it touches my heart. I don't know about you guys. Um, so let's talk about going to college. All right. So that's what all of this is about. It's about playing baseball, hoping, you know, are you getting a scholarship to go play? Are you, how are, what's going on with you? Uh, so it's a, a small D3 uh, engineering school. Okay. So they actually don't really do uh, recruiting. Okay. So they have a trial at the beginning of the year that uh, you can try out for the team. I've been in contact with the coach and been talking with them a lot. So uh, hopefully they can team in the, in the fall. What is your plans for after school? After school is over, what is, what's your goals? Um, I mean, I definitely want to get a job in the mechanical engineering field. Um, then working with uh, some internships in the summers, which can then lead to, uh, to jobs in the, in the future. I want you guys just to know that, that we support our seniors and, and 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 young men like Ian that 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 play it play hard on the field. Um, they they have a great mindset in the community. Like we as as Brooks Behavioral Health Services, we like to see that kind of stuff. And so um, me and my wife, we were talking, and just like on yesterday, um, we want to give you Ian um, um, three hundred dollars for for books for your first year uh, going uh, into school. Thank huh? Thank you. I mean a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with with us, I mean, yeah, we can say we believe in you, but we want to sow our money into you guys so that so that we we know that that we're putting our money investing into kids like you. So uh, I just want to tell you that we're honored to have you uh, as a Cadillac Council. This was great for you to come on and kind of talk about your experiences. So I thank you and I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. And so that's it for today. This is the Cadillac Counselor, David Brooks. Thank you for tuning in. And we have a lot of um, different things. I'm still working on Pumpernickel and Rye um, for Thursday. So hopefully we can get them on and, and just keep having a good day. Keep your mental health in forward and just have good days. And don't worry about the bad ones. All right. See you. Bye-bye.